I've got a really cool coin trick, and I'm going to show you. It just uses a coin, a piece of paper, and a magic pencil. I'll show you why that's a magic pencil in a second. So to start, I'm just going to take the coin, and I'm going to fold a piece of paper around it, like so. I'll get the edges real folded up so it the coin can't slip out, and you can see... I'll get it creased so you could, yeah. Uh, so you could see the coin outlines in there. So, coins in there. Uh, and now, like I said, with this magic pencil, uh, it's called a magic pencil because I can actually wave it around and it can do something magical. In this case, what it does is it turns the coin into a piece of paper. And since it's wrapped around the piece of paper, everything inside is paper. And as we all know, paper can be ripped, and it's exactly uh, what this pencil does. It allows the paper to be ripped. So you can see that the paper is ripped, and that is magic. Here's the tutorial for this trick. What you're going to need is a piece of paper, approximately two and a half inches by two and a half inches, anywhere around that size is fine. A pencil, marker, pen. Whatever you have, a magic wand if you have one, I don't know. Uh, anything like that. And a coin. You could use a 50 cent piece. I like to use a quarter. Anything around that size. So you're going to start off, you're going to take the quarter. And you're going to fold it up in the piece of paper. Um, now this fold, this is where all the magic is at. Because depending on whether you do this fold right or not, that's how the trick is going to work. Uh, so you're going to take the coin and you're going to fold it up. And to do this, you want to make sure that the fold, the first fold coming from any way you want, I like to start from the left and fold into the right, and you can see that. The uh, most important part is that you completely cover the coin. You don't want it to be sticking out at all. So you've got it all the way in, and that's the first step. The next part is to take the upper and lower part. You want to always have it held in the same direction. So. You don't mess up, and you want to fold up, and you want to fold the bottom part up and the top part down, and you just want to leave about maybe a millimeter or two of space uh, in between the piece of paper and the quarter. Um, so after you do those two folds, you're going to be left with this, and as you can see, the top part, there's a space for the quarter to come out. So you want to keep this space open. So you're going to fold the top part down, and the quarter, if you fold it right, the quarter will not be, or the piece of paper won't be completely sealed, and the quarter can still be visible. And that's basically the secret to this trick. Uh, an important part of when you're folding this is you want to crease it, so it looks like there is a quarter after you, uh, after you slide it out, what you're going to do, and that's the secret, like I said. So you're going to show them that the coin is in here, you're going to flick it, whatever, let them feel it, and uh, just let them know that the coin is in there, because they'll think that you didn't really fold it up or something. Uh, if you do let them feel it, you're going to just make sure you don't let them hold it, or else they might see. Um, so anyways, so you've got the coin all folded up. With your, uh, I told you to leave like a millimeter or two space in between the quarter and the piece of paper, and that's so when you pinch it, the coin will actually, it should, if you fold it uh, correctly, it should fall out. And so I'll show you that from the back. The coin falls out. Now, you can have it fall out and into your palm uh, where you can just kind of grip it in here with a relaxed grip so they don't know that the uh, coin is in your uh, hand. But you can do that at any point. You can grab a pencil or uh, anything you want like that wave it over, do that, distract them, make sure they're not completely looking to see you pinch or anything. Um, so you can do something like that. Then you can either drop it on your lap, which I like to do. You can keep it in here, um, and then at the end of the trick, stash it away real quick. Or um, you can actually put it in your pocket. If you have a pencil in your pocket, you can say, let me just grab my pencil and make the switch there and take... That's a little obvious, I, I think. I either like to keep it in my hand or drop it on my lap if I'm sitting down. So after you have it in your hand or stashed away wherever you want to have it, 
the trick's basically over, and you've got just this empty piece of paper with, it's still got the little uh, imprint of the coin from when you, like, pushed it down. And all you have to do is rip it up, make up a story how the pencil turned it into, um, I don't know, disappeared, made it disappear or something. And you can just rip it up, and the uh, trick is basically done. So that is the coin tear, and it's a neat little trick that everybody likes. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions, just comment, and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.